There are two possible views when you launch the website, depending on the size of the screen and the configuration of the system. The functionality is the same for the two views, but the menu locations are slightly different. In this version, when you go to the website you see an information panel on the left side of the screen which gives some information about the product. At the upper left of the legend panel, trail status is displayed, which indicates trails which are under a travel advisory or are closed. Information on the status is available when you select that trail. The user can turn off trail status by clicking the check mark. Next is the trail network, which shows the four different trail classifications on the mapping application. Checking the precipitation box shows any precipitation currently in the area. The services section shows various points of interest, and the user can select which services they would like to see, or can toggle all services on or off by selecting Select All or Unselect All. The legend box can be minimized by selecting the down arrow. You can access the Getting Started section from the left pane. This version is intended for users with a computer and mouse. In this version you see only the Advanced Trail System on Startup. Select the three bars in the upper left to access other menus. Mobile App button allows the user to directly access the Android or iOS version of the mobile app. The legend menu shows trail status, which indicates trails are under a travel advisory or are closed. Information on the status is available when you select that trail. The user can turn off trail status by clicking the check mark. The trail network shows the four different trail classifications on the mapping application. Using the buttons at the top of the legend menu, the user can select map or satellite view. The services section shows various points of interest across the province, and the user can select which services they would like to see, or can toggle all on or off by selecting select all or unselect all. Checking the precipitation box shows any precipitation currently in the area. The Getting Started section explains how to use the trail guide. This version of Getting Started is tailored to those using a tablet or touchscreen monitor. The About section gives some basic information about the product. Primary trails are the main trails which provide connectivity between zones and larger centers. Secondary trails are the more local trails which connect to the primary trails. Road trails are the shoulder and travel portion of a highway designated under Section 5 of the Road Trails Act or by a municipal bylaw, but does not include the ditch. Trail permit required trails are those which the landowner has indicated a trail permit is required. When one of these trails is selected, a window opens indicating which type of trail permit is required. When the user selects a trail which is closed or under a travel advisory, more information will be displayed in the comment section of the drop-down box. The blue icons on the map identify businesses who financially support the association. Selecting one of these icons will display business contact information and up to four pictures.
Non-sponsor services show basic information on the location. The Plan Your Trip drop-down box gives the user the opportunity to map out a prospective route between locations with multiple stops in between. The zoom buttons are for use if not using a wheel mouse. The Home button gives a view of most of the province. The Base Maps button is another option to select map or satellite views. Use the Measurement tool to gauge distance between points. Thank you.